Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Cancer placement propensity that is important to you. Contact information, personal reading information, anything seen in the video will all be linked on my website. That is in the description box. At the end, we're going to pull some Oracle cards for you just to give you some more guidance for the week. And I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. The reading is aimed for the month of March, but you know, time is elusive. Whenever the reading reaches you, that's when it is for you. What do we have for Cancer for the month of March? What do they need to know? Very quiet today. Okay, there we go. That's why we're quiet. What else do we have for Cancer? If this is not you, this is definitely could be someone you are connected to energetically. Mom, sister, brother, dog, boyfriend, best friend, whatever it is for you. It will be different for all of us. What else do we have for cancer? But there's definitely some things going on here emotionally. Someone's going through it. What else do we have for cancer? Seven of Cups wanted to pop out. But it didn't. King of Cups. Okay. What else do we have for cancer? A lot of cards want to pop out, but they're not. It's like someone is hesitant to say something. There's something someone wants to say. But it's like they keep stopping themselves from saying it. Like writing the text and deleting it sort of energy. What else do they have? Do we have for Cancer? Cancer for the month of March. It never takes this long to get cards out for Cancer. Okay. All right. Okay. And okay. bottom of the deck this week cancer we have the seven of wands yeah there's some things going on here whether this is you or someone you're connected to energetically lots of uh turmoil you know i don't know someone's in their emotions someone's in their feelings whether this is you or someone else seven of wands here defensive energy standing your ground keeping someone out or multiple people out you know Standing up for what you believe in, knowing your worth, knowing your value, and not settling for anything less. And anybody that uh, threatens that standard of value will be hit with the stick, <laughs> metaphorically, spiritual, spiritually speaking, verbally maybe, not physically. But definitely some defensiveness here. This could be you, could be someone you're dealing with. Past position, five of pentacles and the five of wands. Two fives here in the past, conflict. Big changes, uncomfortable changes most likely. It could be to your money, could be to your friend's circle group, or this is just drama. Drama, 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 drama. Lots of drama, different types of drama, different dramas in different areas of our life. Your life, your dog's life. You know, five of pentacles, feeling left out, feeling abandoned. This could be someone else too that you have given the stick to, right? Five of Pentacles, feeling left out, feeling abandoned, feeling isolated on the outside, lack mentality. Five of Wands, because someone was dramatic. Someone was very, very much about the drama, competition, pettiness. Okay, this is this could be why this this could be you. Another seven, seven of Swords. Yeah, someone was sneaking, lying, being a snake. You found out most likely. Now you ain't got no time. You're done. And this is the five of pentacles. Or if this is you, that was a snake. <laughs> Could be you. Most likely not though, right? Someone was definitely a snake. Someone was definitely a creep. They were, you know, not being ideal. Being weird. And you found out. Gave them the boot. Standing your ground. Not letting them back into your circle. And they're definitely feeling that. That is for sure person likes drama okay gossip that type of thing present position eight of cups hangman major arcana for virgo energy walking away from the from the from the bullshit you know walking away from the emotional baggage following your intuition getting on your path you're too good for this sort of energy 
way too good for this sort of energy, right? You know your value, you know your worth, walking away, leaving behind all the time spent energy that you've invested in. It's not even, it's not even a thing. Collateral, right? Going into isolation, definitely. Some of you are definitely isolating yourself from someone, people, places, things, mindsets that are very petty, low vibe, right? Hangman is very um, pause energy, you know, putting something on pause, not moving forward, stagnancy. Also enlightenment as well with his head all lit up. Some of you have been enlightened and this is why you're walking away. You're definitely realizing you've spent too much time on this sort of energy already you've you've already that's it okay future energy king of cups judgment energy major arcana yeah this is definitely could have been a lesson in emotional maturity this could have definitely helped you become more emotionally mature the king of cups water sign energy definitely you that cancerian energy also scorpio and pisces but someone that is very emotionally mature, doesn't give their emotions away too easily, very much capable of harnessing and giving and all that sort of stuff, being in the emotions, but being very discerning from this point forward as to where and who and how much energy emotionally you're going to exude. Because Eight of Cups is a lot of, a lot of energy you've put into something or multiple things. Wasted energy on multiple situations, multiple things, one particular situation, doesn't even matter. But whatever this was, this type of past energy of the five fives and the hangman, it's definitely made you wiser. It's definitely made you wiser when it comes to your emotions and, and who's worthy and not worthy. Decision time. The decision is to to be discerning, to, to, to you know, not, not give away the good so easy. Right? Especially a water sign. Someone that is very much, you know, can can do the emotion thing. So people can't do the emotion thing with you, then you're not doing the emotion thing. The judgment, the judgment could be on yourself as well, right? Because we all we all get judged. It's not always on other people that the judgment call needs to be made up. Sometimes we gotta put ourselves in order, and I think that's definitely what this is representing. Because all this multiple people, people around you, you know very much isolated energy moving forward and that is a judgment call that you're making is to stand in your power move away from the sneaky shit because there's definitely sneaky shit okay and definitely more energy of discerning being discerning knowing when to give in when not to you know i just heard that song knowing when to fold knowing when to walk away knowing when to run you never count your money when you're sitting at the table There'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. I know you guys know that song. I think it's Kenny Rogers. I might be wrong, but uh, that's just what I heard. Might be significant for some of you. Two major arcana, though. This is pivotal. This is pivotal in the spiritual growth process for you. It's a good, you know? Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Could have Leo in your chart or just channeling that energy. Of your emotions are worth something. If you didn't think so before, you definitely think so now. Because this old drama, pettiness, competition, all this sort of low vibe, it's not its not appealing to you anymore. It's not. Especially with that hangman coming in, you're, you're, you're wiser now. On to bigger and better things, Cancer. What else do we have? Poor Cancer. Porcupine. Definitely 48. Time for a beginner's mind. Right? Porky minds, they use their senses. They know when to pork up and they know when they can chill and let their porks be smooth. Because you can actually pet a porcupine. If they trust you, if they trust your energy, if they don't perceive you as a threat, you can pet a porcupine. Those things lay all the way down. I mean, I would never do it, but you can. But if they don't trust you, then definitely. That's a whole nother story. Time for a beginner's mind. This is definitely that balance that you're getting, that, that you're gaining. Knowing when to give, knowing when to fold, knowing when to... Just knowing when. Trusting that you know when. In, intuitively. And this one for Cancer. Unbound. Release soul, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Yeah. Soul growth here. Learning lessons. Chick. Done. Learned. On to the next one. 
evolution, you've evolved, you're evolving, you're upgrading. With that hangman energy, heavy upgrade energy. Heavy, heavy upgrade energy. Yeah, this person, people are going to be watching you though. Oh, wow. All right, Cancer, that is your reading for the week. I really do hope that resonates with every single last one of you out there. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment if it does. And I will see you all next week.